Welcome back to News Watch at 530. I love playing any sort of game, of course. I love to compete and I hate losing. Now, a holiday tradition around our house is to always play the game of Monopoly. The thing is, is that my wife's family always cheats. <laughs> always cheats at the game. Regardless, though, it's always a great time to get families together around the board game Monopoly and play. But wouldn't it be cool if you could play Canadian version and have the city of Kingston be able to own it? Well, we're going to talk about how you can help make sure that happens. And joining us here in studio to give us the information on how you can do that, we have the Deputy Mayor of the City of Kingston, Mark Gerritsen, with us. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me, Anthony. Good to have you on. Now, this is uh, fun. First of all, a uh, Monopoly fan? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so you've played before? Absolutely. Okay, do yeah. you cheat like my wife's family? Never. Come never. I, I don't either. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I always play the game and I never cheat, but they say it's part of the game. You know, they slip a couple extra hundred dollars <laughs> over the side. But anyway, this is a great thing that is happening right here. Obviously, a little bit of Canada is going to be on the Monopoly board, mm -hmm. and uh, the city of Kingston has a chance to be a part of it. That's right. Uh, well, Hasbro, the, the maker of uh, Monopoly, has, uh, is going to be coming out with a Canadian edition of it. And uh, on the board uh, will be, uh, rather than having properties, you'll have uh, different cities. So they're going to be, uh, I think there's 65 uh, qualifying cities, and uh, they're going to determine uh, who should be uh, on the board based on the number of votes they get to their website. Okay, so how does it all work? Right now people are going to the website and they're voting, right? That's right. Okay, so where do we, uh, the last time I checked, we ranked at 45th. That's right, and that's why we need more more people to get out there and start voting. Uh, the way it will be basically work is there are 65 pre-selected cities. Um, the Hasbro is looking for people to go online and vote for which city they think should be on the board. The top 20 cities will get on the board, okay. and the, the city with the number one, uh, the, the, the most amount of votes will become the boardwalk position on the Monopoly board. That's pretty cool. Without mm -hmm. a doubt. Now that's so. Regardless of what the the cities are, the top 20 are going to get on the board. That's right. That's a, I find that kind of interesting because you yeah. think that automatically you'd have Toronto, Montreal, yeah. you know, Ottawa, Calgary, etc. Mm -hmm. would all be on the board, but they're not necessarily guaranteed a spot. No, I think they're doing it uh, in a much more uh, democratic way. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. Leave it to a politician to appreciate the democratic uh, process. What does something like this mean? I mean, it's fun. You know, it's mm -hmm. a, a kind of a neat thing to have the city of Kingston on a board like this, but. What would it really mean for a city? I mean, are we talking about extra promotion here? Or? Well, obviously, I, I mean, I think there's a lot of promotion that can come out of it and uh, uh, putting Kingston on the map, so to speak, uh, and literally speaking. Um, and uh, I think that, you know, it, it'll, it'll do for uh, good things for our city with respect to, uh, you know, um, boosting uh, the amount of uh, exposure that we have and, and getting people uh, um, hearing the name Kingston. And then, you know, that translates into uh, people uh, becoming more interested in Kingston, uh, whether it's, you know, to go to our university uh, or one of our uh, f uh, secondary institutions here or coming and visiting or you know I think a lot of things contribute to that and this is just one of the, another little thing that helps uh, boost Kingston's uh, popularity and, uh, and and the number of people that have heard about us. You'd have to think without a doubt that I mean this game is going to go across the country and people will be mm -hmm. buying it and there will be homes uh, in homes uh, in other mm -hmm. provinces and they might be saying hey Kingston maybe yeah. I've never been there before. And exactly and that's why it's so important that in my opinion, we're not just on the board, but we're the boardwalk position on the board. And so, you know, I would encourage all citizens of Kingston uh, to get onto that to that website and to vote often and uh, as many times as you can, so that we can get as many hits up uh, as possible, so okay. that we can be on that position. Okay, we're going to pop that website mm -hmm. up uh, right now and take a look at it. So this is where people can go to, and, and that website is just so they it's, know. It's uh, www.monopolyvote.ca. Okay, so that's where people can go. And how up until what date does the voting occur? Uh, up until February 7th is the regular voting, and then between, uh, and then they will know which are the 20, the, which are the 20 cities, and and which po which position they'll be. And then I believe after that, from the 7th until the 20th of February, there there will be two, because as you know, there are. Two, uh, 22 uh, monopoly positions, property mm -hmm. positions on the board, and then the remaining two positions are going to be uh, wild card votes, as Hasbro describes them, uh, which uh, will be voted on in a different fashion. But that's starting February 7th. So we don't even want to be a wild card. No, we, we want to be, be a boardwalk. Certainty. Okay, we, we want to be boardwalk. That's We're not right. even just looking to be on there. We want boardwalk. Exactly. I like your train of thinking. That's good. <laughs> let's let's shoot for the stars. Exactly. And let's aim to be number one. So. People will do that. They can vote uh, more than once a day or, or just one time a day and every day. I believe it's one time a day, but okay. I encourage people to try as often as possible. Okay. Sounds yeah. great. Thanks for coming on and letting us Thank know all about it. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Well, there you go. Some details on how, of course, you can uh, help the city of Kingston not only be part of the Canadian version of Monopoly, but as Deputy Mayor Garrison said, become 
the boardwalk position. So make sure you go onto the website and you vote, and uh, it'd be great to see the City of Kingston get that exposure and be neat to you for you to have that Monopoly game, be able to play and have the City of Kingston on there.